Welcome back Trailblazers. Today we'll be showing you the process of merging duplicated records. Merging records is a general solution for managing duplicated information in your organization. It helps keep data in your cells, for instance, clean and free of dupes. Since the major downside of having duplicated records are that they can clutter important data and provide inaccurate information, especially when the company needs to use this data to make important business decisions. However, before we're able to merge duplicated records, there is a prerequisite that needs to be configured if it hasn't been done so already, which is having an active duplicate rule with the matching rule that defines the criteria for which records are considered duplicates. Matching and duplicate rules work together to help prevent duplicates as well as help manage existing duplicate records. If you're interested in learning more, we do already have a video explaining the configuration of duplicate and matching rules with examples. So. After a duplicate rule is activated, specifying how the records will be matched in the system, we can see on the record page which other records have been identified as duplicates, if there are any. So let's go into an account record. And as we can see, there is a section that notifies you if potential duplicates for these records have been identified. Remember that this depends on your duplicate rules and how your matching criteria were set up. In this one, we can see that no duplicates have been found. Let's go into another account record. And in this one, it's alerting us that there are potential duplicates found for this record. So we're going to click on view duplicates. And all of the records that have been identified as duplicates will now show. Keep in mind that Salesforce allows you to merge only up to three records of the same object at a time. Now we are going to pick the records we want to merge and click next. Now, when comparing this to duplicate accounts, we can determine which account is the master and pull in fields from any of the records in the comparison. The master is very important because the record ID, sharing rules, and other information such as territories, divisions, teams, and parent accounts will default to the master record, also sometimes referred to as the primary record. Once we merge the records, the related items from both or all three other records will now be attributed to a newly merged account. This means that contacts, cases, files, and even shadow feed information will be carried over to this updated record. You also may notice that duplicated accounts may have similar contacts related to them. We can also identify these duplicated contacts and dupe them as well, but just make sure to run the duplicate process on the accounts first. It will make the contacts easier to find. Another important thing to keep in mind here before moving on is that once you merge accounts, you cannot undo the process. It's permanent. The master account will now contain all the data from the other accounts. This will include hidden and read-only data. The other records will be deleted. They will get sent to the recycle bin. So in this part of the process, we're going to pick which field values we want to keep out of all the records. And here it is going to show you all of the fields that have a different value. So we're going to choose to keep this. Now we're going to complete the merge. And it will take us directly to see the master record with the information that was updated with the field information we selected that we wanted to keep, as well as the related objects of the records that have been deleted and have been reparented to this account. And this essentially concludes the process of merging duplicated records. Keep in mind that merging records are available for accounts, leads, contacts, and cases, and the process of merging records will be the same for all objects but for this demo we use the counts as example. So to recap, some important things to keep in mind when merging records are that it is important to identify which will be the master record as various data will be kept from that record and the rest deleted. Secondly, you can only merge up to three records at a time. If there are more than three records that need to be merged, you would have to go through the process again or use a third party app or look in the app exchange for a package that allows you to merge records in bulk. And lastly, we demonstrated with the counts, but merging duplicate records is available for leads, contacts, and cases. That's all. Thank you guys for watching, and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.